comedian, actor, singer, talk show host, historian. All the traits for which Dennis Prangalang Hall made his mark and in so doing brought pride to the city of San Fernando. Sprang, as he was affectionately known, died on October 2nd. In marking its 32nd anniversary as a city, the San Fernando City Corporation is paying tribute to a number of its renowned citizens. A street near Skinner Park has been renamed the Dennis Sprangalang Hall Street. There are about six streets in San Fernando that are currently with no names. And so, uh, so we have to fix that. It also gives us a window to address that issue. And Sprang has done so much in Skinner Park and has connected Skinner Park and has been part of Skinner Park for all these years. One of the ideal things to do to name that street, Sprang along, what it, Dennis, will, Dennis uh, Hall, a.k.a. Sprang along Street. San Fernando Mayor Alderman Junior Regrello said when he attended Sprangalan's funeral and soon after that of Southern Air's choir leader Joy Caesar, he realized these persons had not been recognized for their contributions to the city. But these people who will be under here this morning continue to, to, to contribute to San Fernando. They are based in San Fernando. They, they never abandon San Fernando and they give back to the young people. Uh, what Deborah is doing is tremendous and amazing. She trained young people to speak, uh, she trained young people to perform, to, and, and, and oratory skills. We have to look at that. An added element to this year's City Week festivities is the City Council's commission of a book by noted historian Dr. Michael Anthony. We contract with Dr. Anthony's film to, to, to you know, he's a, bit, he's a bit late in his life. He's going to put together a team of undergraduates to do the research uh, to publish the book. Because what he did from uh, 1595 to 1900 was, was almost 500 years. What he's doing now is just what, 1900 to, 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 to uh, 2020. The other awardees at Wednesday's celebrations included orator and author Deborah Jean Baptiste Samuel, cultural activist Terence Mohammed, and philanthropist John. Hoyt. Terry and Brown Campbell, TTT News.